Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Five Cylinders back at you. Uh, this is another knife I told y'all I'd do a review of. This is the Bad Blood uh, Rotor Head. This one is a collaboration with Bad Blood and Sean Kendrick, custom knife designer. And as you can see it's by looking at it, you can tell it's pretty much a combat or tactical knife. It does come with a really nice sheath, though. It says it's a fiberglass reinforced nylon of some sort. Sort of like Kydex, a little bit. It did not come... Well, this clip was not attached when, it, when I got it. I had to screw it on. I had to put the screws in. That's about the only thing. I think just because it wouldn't fit in the box with it. With that attached of course I fit I, it fits in there okay but just the lid sticks up anyway that's the sheath it's a nice sheath and it fits in there really snug and I mean there's no wiggle to it at all I mean there's nothing you won't get any wiggle out of that <laughs> but this is a Persian style blade as you can see get up on it. it has a top swedge and it, the tip curves up and uh, when I got it it wasn't razor hair shaving sharp but I stropped it real good and it's it really took a strop I mean it is sharp as it can be now Put something on there and I just love that blade shape. Uh, the blade measures out at four and a quarter. Y'all have to excuse my dog. He's being noisy right now. <laughs> I want to give him a smack on the butt. Uh, but yeah, the blade measures at four and one eighth inches overall. The knife itself measures at nine and a quarter. And has these beautiful... OD green and black textured G10 handles. As you can see, it's a really thick full tang blade. The pommel comes to a kind of a, a point up here. I guess you could use that for a what do they call it? A cube tan strike or whatever. And it has a nice brass grommet for a lanyard. And it's even got jimping at the top up here. So you, when you hold it in a reverse grip, it's got your place, a place for your thumb to rest. And it is plenty big. It's plenty big for somebody like me. And it has these brass pins that have all been polished down to where they, I mean, they're absolutely perfect. They don't stick up or nothing. I've always liked OD green and black together. So this is just, I love the way they did that. And you've got a chul there. And then I guess you can choke up on that part there, but you'd have to be careful with that. <laughs> if you were just doing some feather sticks, you'd probably be alright. But as you can see, this with that top switch, you're not gonna be batoning this or anything like that. This is strictly fighting or combat or tactical. And I mean it's it's made to do some damage, so it has some jimping up here. Gives you a good hand, a good solid grip. Uh, the steel on this is listed as 8CR14 MOV. Uh, I saw one video, he said it was a uh, flat ground, but I disagree. That That's definitely a hollow ground. I don't, I don't know, he maybe just thought it was. But you can tell by looking at it. That's, that's definitely a hollow ground blade. Which is better for the slicing, I say. And then let's see if I can get a shot of the logo. May not show up if the slot's so bright. It's got the Bad Blood logo on it. I love that Bad Blood with that skull. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a beautiful knife. It really is. Whoever designed that, they did a great job. 
yeah, I love that black and green together. That, that's just nice. And the way they put those brass pins and they polished them all down to where they, they don't stick up at all. And uh, this this knife retails for like $80. And, uh, the only video I could find on it, uh, YouTube, that guy said they usually sell for about 60 But I got this on Amazon. I paid like $21 and change shipped. So... For that price, I couldn't pass it up. It's got a nice weight to it, you know, with it having a thick blade like that. And that tool, man. And that jimping is just perfect. I mean, it is perfect. And with that belly, man, you can really do some some good sweeping cuts, you know. Just, mm. And then you can return back for a thrust, so... Yeah, this is the way a fighting knife should be made. Like I said, that sheath is, it's a nice sheath. I really like it. It's got other holes you could, you could tie a lanyard. I guess you could wear it as a neck knife, be a little heavy, but I think it's going to be best on a belt. And it's got that hook right there to, you know, catch your belt where it's not going to slide out. And it just really fits in there really nice. It's not too big, but it's just big enough to be a great fighting knife, you know. And I just had to have it when I saw it. And I've always liked bad blood anyway, so. Chip, that's just another knife I wanted to throw out there. I was going to weigh it because nobody online has weighed this knife. I'm going to weigh it with the sheath first. So. Let's see. We're looking at, with the sheath, 9.1 ounces. So that's a little... Not too bad. Let's get it without the without the sheet. Looking at seven even. So seven ounces for a five and a half, you know, looks like that. I'll take it any day of the week. <laughs> There's pocket knives that weigh more than that. I bet they're not as sturdy as this though. But yeah, this thing is sweet, man. I really like it. So, and I got this on Amazon, so, and there's only like, there's only a few left, so. If you want a knife designed by a custom knife maker, but without paying the hundreds of dollars, this would probably be a good choice. But they have other, they have other fixed blades on there, so. Some are designed by, uh, I think his name is Bill Mosier. They're like CRKT and all these other companies. They do a lot of collaborations with the uh, custom knife makers. But yeah, it's a good knife. I'm glad I bought it. So anyway, until the next time I do another video, y'all have a great week. And uh, I'll talk to you then. Have a good one. Later, bud.